So the water is now in my stomach. What am I trying to teach by this? Matt, I'm actually kind of thirsty. Can I have a little more? Show them that I actually drank the water. That was totally full. Yeah. It is in my stomach. What am I teaching? But just gravity doesn't mean that it's technically going to go down. Well, it's going up. How could it be going up? Muscles. What muscles? The esophagus. Yeah. What, what's that called? What's that process called? Uh, Swallowing. Yeah, but what's the what's the process of the muscle squeezing called? I'll give you a hint. What's the what's it called when you go all the way around the outside of a shape? You take the distance around the outside of a shape. Perimeter, para, 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 muscles that go around your esophagus. Peristalsis is the name of the process by which the muscles squeeze water uphill in that case. Now, in the, um, the battery, oh, there it is. Now you notice, I might have broken the clock. I don't think I did, but, but, um, who cares? You know, sometimes you've got to take a risk in the world. Like, yeah, I have checked to make sure these tables are okay. I don't want to break my neck doing something. But if it's going to mean, now, now, I just last year had a kid come up to me in the supermarket in Yancey County. Yancey County is an hour and 15 minutes from here where I work. And say, wait a minute, you're the guy who stood on his head and drank water. He had come to a science show here like three years before, right? He was in eighth grade and he came in the fifth grade. If you wanna make your classroom light up, you're gonna to have to figure out how to light it up. 